Good afternoon, my fellow Poke Fanatics. Steven here with a moderate Poke Fanatic, just a moderate one. Not too little. I'm not um, full on into all aspects of it, but um, it's growing on me. Now, I've been playing with the cards for quite a good chunk of my life, so I'm mainly tied to cards and video games. Luckily, I made a card video game. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I just had my 50 follower um, celebration today, uh, Sunday. I um, really can't remember what day it is. <laughs> I'm on break from school, so every day is the same day. Um, I opened half a box of Darkness Ablaze, but I do have quite a bit here already. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and get our Crobat V. So I'm going to take you on a journey with me. We're going to go ahead, get started, and we're going to try and get a Crobat V. Is that all right with you? Because it's all right with me. All right, let's work our way here. I'm hoping for at least two if you watched the live feed on Instagram, I did get one. So out of 18 packs, I got one. Uh, here we are with the Lugia as our rare. Um, not what we're going for. We really want to get that Crobat. Uh, the Dene is cool, but I really need that Crobat. Let's keep on working through. Hiding energy. Uh, one of these days, I am going to build a dark deck. Um, I don't have the raw materials for it just yet. Flygon and Snubble as our hollow and our rare. This definitely does a lot faster online than it does in person. Oh, a golden parrot big parasol. Ooh, that's pretty. As long as this Pokemon the Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active spot, prevent all effects from your opponent's Pokemon done to all of your Pokemon. Are not affected. Damage is not affected. So damage is still a thing. But everything else. That's nice. That's useful. And it's gold. We love gold here. Actually, anything shiny is kind of my fancy. Double down on Flygon already. Ooh, that's not looking good for us. Couple new cards. Got some struggle gloves. Ooh, double rares, you say. A Manetric and a Toxtricity Hollow. That Risk Taker. I guess if you paired that up with the, the old, was it old fishing pole, old some old rod, um, that might help you. Thunder Jolt. I was never like a big fan of damaging myself when it comes to attacks. How about you guys? Only thing I could think of way back, well, because I grew up in base set, so like Chansey with, uh, what was it? Double Edge, Galarian, Mr. Rhyme as our rare. And then we got a Corvin Knight rare. Um, I want to say Machoke with Submission, but I think his was a subtracting one. And I think Arcanine had Takedown, so like, yeah, I was never a fan of damaging myself. Ooh, Mad Party. One day we're going to get a Mad Party deck. Draco Zolt. Evolves from Rare Fossil. I don't know if I have any in this. I know I have a couple in person. I don't know about online. Ooh, Double Rare again. Aren't we feeling lucky? What do we got? Escalavir. Esca eh, that's pretty cool looking. And a Grim Snarl V. Oh, maybe we'll get that dark deck going here pretty soon. One energy for 40. That's monstrous. Put two dark energies attached to this Pokemon into your hand. Uh, not too bad. I'm sure we can find a way to beef him up real quick. Ooh, another double rare. What do we got? Galarian Darmatan, welcome. He's on fire, even though he's not melting. And 
There it is. Our first Woo! one. Hopefully we get a couple more. We got the crow bath. All right. Excited. My voice is escalating. Probably waking up my wife and child. But the crow bath deserves that kind of celebration. That's what we're going for. All righty. Crow bats. Whew. That was good. <laughs> we're double raring up. I like this. A thievil, a rare reverse foil, and Grand Bull. Wah, wah. Eh, not too bad. Not. Don't know if I would use it or not. Maybe in a pre-release situation, but nothing trying to get me to worlds. Talon Flame, Surge Feathers. Ooh, getting people burnt. Mock Flight, that's the name of a cool attack right there. Anything with Mock in its name. Like the Mustang Mock 1. Galarian Slowbro, what do you do? Once during your turn, if this Pokemon's in the active spot, you may make your opponent's active Pokemon poison. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon can't retreat, forcing him into poison. If you pair that up with Weezing, or Galarian Weezing, from uh, Rebel Clash, you'd be taking, what, four? Four damages in between turns for Poison? It's not too bad. Make a Poison deck, Poison Dark deck. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. I'll try to make it happen. I'll open some Rebel Clash to get some Weezings on here. I'll trade for Weezing. I got plenty of Burning Shadows packs I can uh, trade. Apparently those are gold on here for some reason. I get the Charizard. And if you play Expanded, I don't play Expanded. I have one Expanded deck, and it's not good. <laughs> In person, it's good. On here, it's not quite the same yet. I don't got all the right cards. Ooh, double rare. Exciting. What do we get? Arctivish. I got two of those during the live pulls. And a Milotic. I got one of those during our live pulls. So this is like a recreation of one of the booster packs. Corvus Squires Reverse and a Diggersby. Well, Diggersby, I'd rather use Dave Bunnelby and use Mad Party. But if we're in a pinch, where were you at? How many booster packs? You guys counting? I'm not counting. I'm excited. We got one Crobat. Let's get some more. So is this uh, Silent T? It seems like it'd be a Silent T. So is it Serena? Sounds, it'd be weird if it was Toss Serena. Or to Serena. <laughs> I'm saying it's Silent. We're halfway through. It looks like there's about 16 or 17 left. Oh, more Mad Party. It's going to happen. Hippodon. Triple Smash is pretty good. So like this, I can get behind if I was a fighting type person uh, just because he doesn't hit himself. <laughs> For some reasons, uh, ground types and rock types like to hurt themselves while fighting. I guess because they're made of rock and dirt. A Golork. Whew, five energies. Oh, but 180. That's, a, that's enough to take out my DDV. All right. I can see Golork. But man, you get decimated if someone got you with Psychic. So I saw this a few times during the live feed, and it's like a moon looking at the moon. It's like Moonception. A Hoopa. So if this Pokemon didn't move from the bench to this active spot this turn, this attack does nothing. So you got to move him back and forth. I guess I do have an air balloon he can use. All right, this dark deck's coming together. Maybe that's why it's called Darkness Ablaze. Uh, another mad party. Hippodon. So, I don't know if I would have Poltegeist or the Sinisty for the Poltegeist if that were the case. If I did a mad party deck, I'd probably just use him to, um, was it Quick Ball? I think it's Quick Ball. So just discard him or use the 
the professor to get him down into the discard pile or the Dene's change and then stick with uh, the Dene and Bunnelby for the main mad partiers. Because if they get hit, it's only one prize as opposed to taking on V's. Manectric, Heat Energy. I used to be big into fire decks, but I think since the game has been saturated with so much Charizard, I'm just saying, eh. So much Charizard. Oh, a V, a Vika Volt. It's Vika Volt V. Paralyzing Volt, Super Zap Cannon. Discard two energies from this Pokemon. I wonder if that counts the Charger Bug. Because if that's the case, that's easy. Get four Charger Bugs in there, power that dude up, and boom, game over. Ooh, double rare. Hydreigon, there we go. That's how we get Grim Snarl, his energies. Don't even use Wellis. Rare candies for days. A Vanillax. Vanillax. Ooh, we need Crobat V up in here. We got one so far, so we're thankful. But a second one would be appreciative. Full art, breeders, nurturing. Welcome to the party. Maybe soon to be mad party party. Let's check it out. We're winding down the booster packs. This goes way faster online than in person. Mad Party 1. Mad Party 2. Did you say Reverse Foil Portugeist? No. Oh, he's an uncommon. I'm not that smart. And a Thievul. It's not bad. I don't know if I would consider using a Thievul. 100 HP. I mean, that's useful, but there's plenty of trainers that I can use to get into the deck. Don't want to waste it on a Pokemon spot. Ooh, double rare again. Toxtricity, reverse foil, and another ice cream cone. At this point, I wouldn't be sad if he started to melt. We are at seven left, it looks like. Ladies and gents, my fellow fanatics, we got one so far. Can we get a second? We're just asking for one more. We got a Corviknight, leader of the Gorgonites. He's not, but it sounds really good. Struggle Gloves. We're struggling right now to get this Crobat. Tell you what. A Goth... Gothitelle? Gothitelli. Goth hit. Choose two random cards from your opponent's hand, reveal them, and shuffle them into their deck. And that's not too bad. 140 HP. Like I said, I don't know if I told you guys this. I'm not a big stage two person. I really go for the use of rare candies uh, just to alleviate the space in the deck. Squovit. A clink clang. That's just mushing gears together. All right, clink and clang. I get you. We're winding down. I think this is booster pack 32. So we got four more, three more. It's maybe 33. And it's a Crobat. A Draco fish or Vish. Whoever did these uh, rare fossil fish must have been like Middle European. This is Draco Vish. <laughs> this is Arto Vish. Please welcome him into your house. Pulty guys, another mad party. And, ooh, a Piers, a full art Piers. Well, there we go, for an energy card, not basic, so we can get any energy card. Piers, you're looking looking like you'll be mighty fine in a deck. I guess it'd have to be a dark deck, but at least you could pull any energy. Ooh, another Piers, Dobre Ver, a Talon Flame, and... A Greedent. What? Ooh, Scrape Off. Now, that's not bad. Now, I think I would rather use the Scraper tool. Oh, Smack and Run's also pretty good. Uh, maybe maybe a, a one tree. Like, if I just had one Squilvin and one Greedent, just to mess with those Mel Metals and Lucarios. Um, it's not too bad. Mel Metal, 
That, that steel deck has a lot of support. Something I'm still not suited to handle, but hopefully uh, double down on Lugia. Triple if you count the reverse foil. We got a couple left. There's just the last one. I'm not keeping count anymore. We're near the end, and we only got a single Crobat. Ooh, but a Ducidui. All righty. And another Gothitelle. Now, I would say, oh, that was the last one. Gothitelle, you ruined the fun. All right. There was our booster opening online. Thank you for being with me and watching. Um, let me know if you want me to get that dark deck underway or the mad party. Which one first? Which one would you like to see? I can tell you, I think I have the raw materials to get them done, but who knows? Well, I'm Steven from a monger at Poke Fanatic. And I, I don't know if you mind me calling you a fanatic as well. Uh, whatever, whatever level fanatic you are, you can... Uh, Put that next to your name. I'm just a moderate Poke fanatic. Like I enjoy Pokemon. Um, Champions Path. I'm starting to turn into a hyper fanatic. I'm waking up early to go check the stores before it's all gone. But that's just me. So I guess I'm a, I'm a fluctuating fanatic at this point. But moderate just sounds better. Well, until then, have a good one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and please subscribe. We have something going on in 10 subscribers. I'd like you to be a part of that.